also gathering money and uh, all the other things that he could so that he would uh, help uh, other people who wanted uh, a lot of needs uh, some dames uh, some dames he had uh, um, a prayer to the god told him that um, what would ha what would become uh, when he was gone and what would become of those monasteries that he had built what would become for uh, those people that he uh, that became nuns and um, he uh, to he also told the Lord that ever since he became a monk he didn't eat a lot he didn't drink a lot he didn't enjoy anything else or uh, slept a lot and uh, um, asked the Lord what would would do if he died what would happen of all those things if he died and the Lord told him that uh, he is being proud of what he had done and he wouldn't do that and because everything is upon the Lord's hand and he shouldn't be so worried about it so he told him to ask for an apology and uh, the saint at the same time fell into uh, into the ground and uh, asked for his forgiveness and uh, um, as he was praying he saw two angels coming towards him one was younger and the other was uh, uh, older one of uh, the um, the say of, of uh, the angels told him that he is the Lord, the Jesus, Jesus Christ, Son of God, and uh, he came to talk to Pahomius. He told him not to be afraid, but he to have courage to himself, because nothing of uh, what he had done would never go to waste. That nothing would uh, be. Um, small or n and that uh, his monks would not ne would never have anything less that they had now uh, they had now now and uh, they would have teachers and would uh, as long as they um, be under his own example and do as uh, um, uh, as he, uh, as he would order and the olders would go to a dry place so that uh, to um, be away from uh, the others and become better in the spiritual life himself and uh, he also told him that <coughs> uh, whatever happens the Lord would never would never abandon his monks uh, the saint became silent he didn't know what to say uh, and uh, uh, he was very pr uh, he was very um, uh, uh, he loved him and respect uh, the Lord a lot because the Lord told him that he would never abandon him his monks one one of the days uh, one of uh, one of the biggest uh, the, the biggest and the oldest man uh, um, monk became uh, came to St. Pahomius to know him uh, he told him that there are no uh, kings uh, who are pi pagans uh, uh, um, that pray for the Lord, for the idols, uh, because Constantine, Saint Constantine, um, had given to every everyone the Christianism. The Christianism. Uh, so he told him, "What made you uh, seek and ask for the martyrdom?" Uh, And he told him to uh, stay uh, according to uh, the Lord's uh, commandments and to uh, seek whatever the Lord wants and seek for the kingdom of the heavens. That uh, what Pahomius told the other monk. And but uh, he didn't stop saying and said uh, again to Pahomius. Uh, Pray, pray, other, uh, pray, brother, and guard yourself because the devil is going to uh, play a trick on you, and uh, uh, because uh, un un until un until you uh, give your life to the God and uh, have a martyrdom, 
uh, you will renounce God and you um, didn't, don't want to be with uh, him and you uh, lose yourself after after two days after two days the saint gave uh, sent his sent uh, uh, two of his monks to uh to the, to the city so that uh, they would um they would sell some of their um things that they made and uh, when they reached the desert uh, he see uh, some people uh, some uh, uh, he saw that some people there um tied his hands and told him uh, to uh to they put him uh, 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 on uh, um, an animal and take him and take him around and, uh, and making uh, uh, he wanted to make a sacrifice of him and uh, send him to the devil and uh, to the idols uh, one of the monks uh, was very afraid and he um, did what they told him so that he wouldn't lose him his life and uh, he also ate uh, meat and he lost his face faith, uh, faith uh, to the Lord uh, he after that he went back to the saint and he was crying and told him that the divine grace had left him and that um, he had to repent very much for what he had done he told him that um he that you uh, were afraid of the 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 death and that's why you inherited uh, the the internal hell so uh, what would what would you do uh, now to uh, fix what you uh, have done the, the the monk said that I cannot raise my my hands and my eyes towards the Lord because I have uh, lost every hope of my salvation. The saint told him not to be afraid and uh, not to despair himself, and told him that he, if he wanted to um if he wanted he told him that i don't want to lose my faith i don't want to lose my soul please help me i will obey to you father and do as you said so that i won't lose my soul then the saint uh, shut him in a cell and uh, told him to be quiet and not to talk to anyone to eat every two days uh, only uh, dry bread and water to uh, stay awake uh, praying to the Lord as much as he could do and need uh, to um, to uh, of his workshops, work, uh, work um, uh, masters every two, uh, 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 two a day, and never, never, never stop crying. The brother did as he uh, the saint said, and he was um, praying all the time, and he was only eating twice a day and crying. Now. Let's talk about one of the most uh, biggest, uh, the biggest miracles of the saint. When the the law, the the, sa the the angel himself came from the Lord and gave him the angelic gown to uh, and gave it to Saint Pachomius himself. Now uh, let's finish about uh, Saint Pachomius telling telling about his honorable. Uh, sleeping uh, because uh, one uh, because of uh, of all he had done of all the miracles he had done there were uh, wouldn't they wouldn't last or not even one thousand piece of papers so that we can write uh, what he, what Saint Pachomius had done they were fasting they were um, celebrating Saint uh, the Holy the Holy Easter and uh, from God. Uh, uh, the monks had uh, a very peculiar uh, sickness, and 100 and more of those um, uh, of the monks were becoming ill. And uh, the uh, the fever 
was uh, always uh, destroying uh, them, but uh, uh, Saint Pachomius would never let him let him alone. But always uh, was there and help helping his um, his children, his monks, and uh, uh, he. Um, uh, he became so sick. He's so sick that his eyes were red, and uh, he uh, and this, uh, the, uh, the Lord came and took his soul. And uh, Th uh, Saint Theodoros, who was uh, there and helping the saint, understood the, uh, that because his uh, body became so so. Um, so thin that he uh, wouldn't say that his heart was beating or his uh, uh, eyes were open and so he gathered all the other people uh, all the other monks and told him that the Lord the Lord uh, has taken their father and uh, they had to uh, understand that and not to be um, feared about feared about that and not to cry uh, because Lord would never abandon them and give somebody else to guide them that was not true though because all the monks not only cried about their father but they were very very sad about it but knew in their hearts that the Lord was always going to be with them and he was going to guide them with another beautiful and good Lord to help the uh, good monk to help them uh, find the way to the heavens